It's using US units. You have the option of selecting duckboard, flex, or metal. And so let's stick with duckboard for today. Every design will also require a CFM. Let's say this is a small office, so we'll do 265 CFM for that, for this particular duct run. And you also have to enter another um, variable, which would either be velocity of the air that you want to design for, the friction loss that you want to cons be constrained by a duct diameter, or width and height of the duct. So for this case, let's be constrained by friction loss and design for 0.1 inches per 100 feet. You can calculate and we can see that this gives you a round duct diameter of 9 inches or an 8 by 8 rectangular duct. Duct board, let's, we're probably going to assume that it's going to be a rectangular duct. So let's say we have a constraint where the outer dimension can, height of the duct is a maximum of 9 inches and we have one and a half inch thick insulation on the top and the bottom, which means our inner dimension is a maximum of six inches. So let's say our maximum duct height we need to constrain to six inches, and then we can calculate that again. So now we know that our rectangular duct is gonna be a six by 10 inch duct. There's another way you can use this calculator. Reset that. This is an easy conversion from round to rectangular or rectangular to round. So let's say we have a, 18 inch duct and so the equivalent uh, let's calculate so the equivalent of an 18 inch duct a 16 by 16 equivalent rectangular